everyone welcome back to my channel I realize it's almost time to get all of my plants inside because it's getting cold and I haven't really gave you a tour of my outside setup for succulents this year so uh, for those of you who watch my channel I moved this year I used to live in a house that was surrounded by a lot of trees in the woods and we would have a lot of shade and not a good air flow so I would get fungus a lot and then here in Michigan we get a lot of rain so um, I had to uh, find spots to cover my succulents and control water intake and so on. So where we moved, we have a lot of sunlight and the environment is completely different because uh, we have a lot of open space. We're surrounded by 800 acres of farm field. Here it is behind me. So there is a lot of drift when there is a stormy weather i mean there were times when i found some light pods all the way at the neighbors <laughs> so um i had to somehow uh you know protect plants from being knocked over i also wanted to uh, create a setup that's gonna look elegant and orderly so i actually took my black shelves that you have seen in my other videos that i used to hang my fluorescent lights and here they are i have two of these that i bought from ikea uh, they were a pine wood um, shelves and they cost only 30 dollars a few years ago and i stained them black and uh, i put them on the both sides of the left and right of the uh, back porch and because they can be a little wobbly sometimes uh, because when you put a lot of weight they can lean left or right to make sure that nothing falls down uh, just like I did it in the plant room I did the same thing here outside I attached them to the wall and it's very simple I'm going to show you right now so I have here like a little hook attached to one of the shelves and then a little rope and uh, there is a nail or a screw going in the wall I did the same thing in the plant room and it worked great uh, nothing was bobbly uh, you can also see that I have added a window screen here and the reason for it is because of the winds I wanted to make sure when we have stormy weather that none of the pots fell down it's really easy to remove it because I use tiny nails uh, to get the to wrap the screen around the shelf this worked great I didn't have anybody fell down during the storm so I'll just give you kind of like a close-up of the plants that are here on the shelves and uh, and then we can uh, go on the other side and see what's on the deck. So I have here, uh, I think this is called mistletoe cactus maybe, uh, then I have zigzag cactus, um, one of the sedums, those are on top shelves. This is a pretty heavy pot. so it's not easily moved so I didn't have a problem with these falling down and then here I have some more cacti and then I have uh, a little agave and then I have some non succulent plants like this Trinduscantia uh, that has beautiful colors as you can see uh, Sansevieria and then I have some uh, Chiveria guboides here I burned this one <laughs> few times because it wasn't on this shelf it was on the more sunlight so uh, this porch is facing south so it gets a lot of light this is a plant that I got I think it's called Chinese money coin or money plant uh, for, I got it from a friend and um, I burned the top leaves like first five leaves so I had to uh, cut them and when I cut it then it started branching all over the place and growing a lot of new leaves so it's really cool uh, this is a propagation from my uh, cacti that's I think it's called snow um, prickly pear snow something uh, and it rooted then I have another plant that's not succulent this one here it's really pretty I have some more agaves, uh, some uh, struggling frasulas that have been here trying to recover and I think that some of them may actually survive. Um, Alright, so let me show you the other side. So uh, here on the table I always had uh, my string of buttons, two different kinds, just because I love to look at them. <laughs> They're so pretty. These guys have been exposed to 30s 
low 30s and middle 30s uh, two nights for about six hours so I don't think that they're the happiest and next week they're forecasting 40s at night and I think I'm gonna be taking them inside uh, then underneath here on these tables there's like a little um, a metal area that on which I could put some plants and I have been using it I already moved the Hoya that was here uh, but this um, string of tears or string of bananas you see how long it is so it worked really well because it was getting light but it was also getting some shade from this table so um, and then here I have different kind of plants on top shelf I have some sedums and string of uh, pearls uh, and also I think this one is called string of hearts I think there is some mixture of plants here on this shelf as well uh, here on this shelf are all my alice and I have some video about them uh, and then also mixture of plants over here like these plants here have changed the colors the most uh, they're like pretty so pretty like I actually really need to find a different spot so I can show you it has red and orange and here it is so you can see and green it's just so beautiful we started having some really low temperatures at night so uh, since then they got really nice stressed colors look at how pretty this one is Vera Higgins looks uh, like really beautiful too a lot of like red and pinkish tones on it uh, this um, Hagai Limonensis is also really pretty, a lot of purple and it's preparing to bloom. Um, this Echeveria started having pink on the edges. I hope you can see. Really pretty. And this one, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful the colors are. A lot of pink and orange. And so pretty. And it just grew so much, I really need to trim some of them and this is actually my uh, Chaveri Devi that I saved it was on clearance at Lowe's I bought it a month ago for one dollar and it was super dehydrated I changed the soil and um, while I was on vacation it hasn't been watered for like two and a half weeks but I did soak it well before I left and I think it completely recovered it looks so pretty and it's preparing to bloom so this one here had two rosettes growing now it's growing five total look at this guys this is a Cheveria Paul von Nunberg and then this one also got some beautiful colors this is this was sold as a Cheveria Chroma look at these colors guys so pretty anyway I could actually show you today also my landscaping here so Obviously the grass is not completely established so it kind of looks not very nice around as you can see there is a lot of bare areas but what we did here around the house um, we put the weed control and I wanted to create some um, desert looking areas so I placed the boulders first like big rocks and then I placed the plants and then small rocks and the weed control of course I was also placed before the sun so I'm pretty pleased with this area I mean it needs to be established um, I'm hoping all of these plants will grow more there is some uh, hardy opuntia cactus that bloomed really nicely and I hope it's gonna grow and fill more of this space and I didn't put weed control around the plants so that they can still come out here and um, you can see uh, my hands and cheeks did it really well this year I think that they were happy that it wasn't um, uh, so humid and wet and there was a lot of sun here so um, I put a lot of hands and cheeks of different varieties around some sedums I did the same thing on the other side this area is not completely formed as you can see I'm still working on it. Um, 
then on this side we have done almost completely this area uh, so there is a lot of hostas some of them dried up uh, because it's full starting and you know some of them were really small when I moved them so it's really hard to see how this is gonna look I think next year summer I could give you a better you know um, video and a better idea how this area will look like and what plants are in it. So opposite from the back porch is uh, this little deck that was mainly created because of Kylo. Uh, he's a type of dog that would run away. Uh, that's how our previous Doberman was as well. So you have to have a fenced area for him. And we had, uh, wanted to make something that would be convenient for him to go to the bathroom. So. Uh, Coming from deck, there is a little area with stones where he goes to the bathroom, which makes it easy to clean. He also likes to sit here on the deck because it's full of sun. And he also sometimes chews on my plants, mostly chrysola. Uh, cactuses he doesn't mess around with for the most part. Uh, so I had here cold summer my euphorbia turcali sticks on fire that really looks like it's on fire since the changes in the temperatures and since it's been dehydrated because when I left on vacation um, well yeah for two and a half weeks hasn't been watered behind it there is my euphorbia grandicornis and another euphorbia and a little uh, puntia over here and then I did move some of my uh, plants that were here on this shelf before I left because I was concerned that um, either Wind or Kylo can knock them over. He kind of messes up with the first two top shelves. And before I left vacation, I had to put this screen on this shelf as well so he cannot access the pots because he's been knocking them over. Uh, but um, so I used this shelf from IKEA that I uh, actually use for the lights as well um, to keep some of the kawakoi plants that are on the bottom, some cactuses, some of the, my propagation projects like the Fred Ives. So maybe I can uh, show you close up my um, Fred Ives. And I mean the large rosette, if you watch my past videos about propagation, I can put them in the description. The, large rosette I sold and then there were like two smaller rosettes I sold those as well so I beheaded the plant one more time so that's why I have this um, thick stem here with a lot of rosettes and uh, yeah these are all new growths since I in the last month I would say and these are all leaves leaf propagation so leaves finally completely dried up and each leaf produced like three to four heads as you can see here pretty amazing there now you can see it better and it's the same thing in the smaller pot there is like uh, some dried up leaves uh, left three or four rosettes looking really cubed I really enjoy propagating that one. Uh, this is where my uh, big pot of ghost plant is. And uh, and then there is just a lot of um, different cacti here. As you can see, they have been blooming a lot this year. This one has bloomed over and over and over again, as well as this peanut cactus. So. Uh, Kylo did mess with this cactus because it's kind of smooth and not pokey uh, so I was so happy that this grew on top and he knocked it off so I've been trying to root it before late fall because it's gonna go to dormancy so hopefully it's gonna make it this crest at once started growing a normal form, like this, so it's kind of cool to see it. Everybody grew a little bit, you know, so this one got a lot of new babies. It's really pretty. Um, 
let's see who has also changed. I think from everybody has grown a little bit, you can see from the tips, but this one I think grew a lot uh, wider and taller. So it's really cool. My chrysulas um, have lost quite a bit of leaves, some of them because they were burned or they got yellow and some because they were chewed on. I mean, Kyla chewed number of leaves here. You can see the bites uh, here as well. So I don't know why, but the cats in the past, as well as dog, always like to chew on Chrysula Oata. It's like their favorite plant to munch on. Then I have a um, variegated jade, then I have this mini jade. And I propagated a lot of little little ones here that rooted. So I'll probably sell those. And then there is another variegated one and this I think it's called I don't know, Shrek ears or something. Oh here is a little cricket. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, so this works really well. This is where my greenhouse is supposed to be. It's a corner. This is facing south and this is east, facing east. So this gets sunlight all day long. It would be just perfect, but yeah, didn't happen. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you got some ideas how to do your succulent setup outside and um, I will see you soon in the next video.